Hello, welcome back to Learning Game Maker Studio 2. In this episode, we're going to talk all about transfer events and a few ways that you can go about creating them and adding them to your project. So, even on this first title screen, we actually have a transfer event. The press enter to start button, our object, is basically you know, a transfer event in itself. It's checking to see if we press the enter button, and if we do press the enter button, then it's going to transfer the player to the next room, which is you know, your simple key press transfer event. So. Um, also, just talk about the project that we're working on since this is sort of like a little bit of a series. So I press enter and it transfers us to the next room. In this case, we have control of the the drift bot here, which is just going to hover around over the ground. And um, this is our collision layer. But um, so the next transfer event that we're going to look at is this little greenhouse thingy. It, please excuse the awful art. This is all programmer art that we're going to be swapping out. Um, I've been messing around with quite a few different things, like I'm working on making a text box thing. So I've got this little icon to display, i got the box to split to whatever size I want. And um, this is actually a very, very small sprite, it's like a 12 pixel sprite, the, the box. But we're using um, a 9 slice method to give it whatever size we want. And then using like a shadowing um, text script to have the, the text be shadowed so you can have like a, not only the text but a, a shadow of the text underneath it and, and then I'm using uh, drawing a sprite and then uh, manually fluctuating the the frames on that sprite instead of an object because I'm setting it up in the GUI layer we'll get into all that stuff later but for this transfer event whenever the player collides with this object as if we want to go to it we just um, then it'll run the transfer event so let's run into this house so we run that transfer event now we get transferred from like a you know um, a node a, some kind of a scene where you don't have like uh, gravity or jumping or anything into another scene. So far this game uh, is just a big learning process and trying to figure out how to handle different things. Still need to add a tile set to this. But here's another transfer event. So when we uh, run into this transfer event, boom, it takes us back to this map. So we can kind of cycle through. You could also have key press, like I said, you can hit escape to go to open up a menu that could switch to a different scene, like your min your menu map, you know, your, your menu room, rather. And, um, yeah, so let's take a look at the code now. And you've seen some of the stuff that I've been working on in the project. Um, so, the first transfer event that I've got playing is, is the press enter to start object. So this event is just setting up um, some objects. You don't even actually have to have it fade in and out, fade in and out. To do the transfer event, all you're doing is room, go to, next. So this, is, this works in this first instance because you have to have your, whatever map is at the top, map is going to be the map that shows when you load the game. So if we look at our rooms, and when I say maps or scene, I'm usually referring to rooms. So if I say... Um, if I put room title here at the top, that's going to go to room title when the game starts. So I put this object on, um, on uh, you know, the room title, this, uh, this object inside there. And then when they press enter, it's checking on the step every, every frame of the game. It's seeing if we pressed enter, then we're going to use the code room go to next. And what that does is it jumps from this, uh, from this room to the next room. So it's going to go from the title to the world. Let's jump into the... Um, the object that uh, that transfers us from the world into like the platform area so we'll go into this object this is like the very crappy art greenhouse and so this is checking to see if the player is in the same location as this object so we're saying if place meeting it's a conditional we're, we're checking if um, RX and RY is in the same location as the object players X and Y then um, room go to next so we're doing the same code there. But now we're, you're going to see where you can't use this code. Because if we go to the next one, we went from here to here. And then from world, to, it's going to go to the platform. But if we go to the platform, we don't want to go to next, right? We want to go back to the world. So we can't use room go to next. So let's look at this final transfer event. This is going to use some of the same code. It's going to use some of the same code as to figure out if it's colliding with the player. So we're saying if place meeting X, Y, O player. See, I've got two different players, one for um, two different scenes. One for the one that's got platforming, up and down jumping, and another for when you don't have jumping, you just have like a RPG style, um, like, you know, 2D platform. 
or not platform, but 2D, I don't know, plane, I guess is what it's called. Whatever. So you use place meeting the same way, but we're, we're not using room go to next anymore. Now we're using room go to. And this is a specific way to, um, to check if, uh, uh, this is a sp this is gonna say go to this particular room. I think it's pretty simple, right? You just use room underscore go to, and in, in the parentheses you're gonna put the the name of the map that you want to transfer to. So we don't want to go to next, which would take us to the the tile jungle. We want to go to the room room world, so it'll put us back there. So that's what you use room underscore go to. So that's pretty much it. Really simple uh, tutorial on some of the ways you can use um, transfer events and how to make them and how to set up some of the logic. You could, you know, use key presses, if keyboard check, you know, and then you basically set up the logic for when you want it to trigger, and then you use room go to, and then the name of the room, or room go to next if you know it's going to be right after in a sequence. So that's it for this tutorial. I'm going to make it real um, short and easy to understand. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy these tutorials, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I've got lots of other tutorials you might be interested in checking out. If you're into RPG Maker MV, I've got hundreds of tutorials. If you have a game um, that you're working on in Game Maker Studio 2 or RPG Maker MV, um, if you would like me to, to play test it and, uh, and give you some feedback on it, possibly make a video on it, um, hop into the Discord. The link's in the description below. And uh, give me the download link. Make sure you play test it and uh, make sure you it runs and it extracts and everything before you upload it and then send me the link. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.